Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we're going to first look at Arsenal setting asking price for Maceo Guendouzi with Benfica eager to sign midfielder this summer and then we're going to look at Arsenal monitoring Everton striker Dominic Calvert-Lewin. So the first transfer headline states that Arsenal set asking price for Maceo Guendouzi with Benfica eager to sign midfielder this summer. So the reports are stating that Arsenal are demanding a fee of £17 million for Matteo Guendouzi with Benfica eager to sign the French midfielder this summer. Matteo Guendouzi spent last season out on loan with Hertha Berlin after being frozen out of the Arsenal team by Mikel Arteta following football's restart in June 2020. The Gunners boss is looking to rebuild his midfield this summer, with Danny Ceballos returning to Real Madrid after his loan spell in North London and Granit Xhaka eager to join Roma. Matteo Guendouzi's days at the club also look to be numbered with Benfica identifying the 22-year-old as someone who can immediately become a key figure in their midfield next season. Arsenal have reportedly rejected an offer from Marseille for the former Lorient Starlet and according to Portugal's Rena Sinyaka, the Gunners want €20 million Euros, which is £17 million for the midfielder. Matteo Guendouzi has just over one year remaining on his contract at the Emirates, however, something Benfica hope to use to drive down the price in negotiations with the Premier League side. Also, meanwhile, are interested in signing Ruben Neves from Wolves as part of their rebuild in the middle of the park. Wolves are ex believed to be asking for £34 million for the Portugal international. Also themselves are holding out for £17 million for Granite Xhaka, having already turned down an offer of £12 million from Roma. Also are looking to sell a number of first team players this summer, with the funds set to be reinvested in McLaughlin's playing squad. Hector Bellerin and Lucas Terra are among the other senior players who could be moved on with Brighton defender Ben White and Leicester City playmaker James Madison among the club's summer targets. So it looks like Arsenal have set asking price for Mosea Guendouzi with Benfica eager to sign midfielder this summer and it looks like Arsenal are demanding a fee of £17 million for Mateo Guendouzi and previously it was Marseille that looked like the front runners to sign Mateo Guendouzi after Mateo Guendouzi agreed personal terms with Marseille. He did impress on loan at Hertha Berlin preventing them from getting relegated in the Bundesliga but now it looks like Benfica are very interested in signing Mateo Guendouzi. But one thing for certain is that Matei Guendouzi doesn't have a chance to return back to the Gunners because him and his rivalry with Miklos Tessa is something that has gone pretty much prevented him from becoming a regular Arsenal player and if he was disciplined enough previously and he did do the necess necessary things to try and make a bond with Miklos Tessa to try and make some form of a comeback after what he did in terms of his discipline. He didn't do any of that and McLaughlin is very adamant to not bring him back to the football club and discipline is something that McLaughlin values to a large extent. So it looks very likely that Matteo Guendouzi will be definitely leaving this summer as there's a host of clubs looking at Matteo Guendouzi as a suitable option and it looks like also wants 17 million pounds which is 20 million euros and it looks like right now Benfica looks like the front runners to sign Matteo Guendouzi. So this nicely takes us on to the second piece of transfer news which states that Arsenal monitoring Everton striker Dominic Calvert-Lewin. So the reports are stating that Arsenal are reportedly tracking Everton and England striker Dominic Calvert-Lewin as they look to bolster their front line this summer. The Gunners finished in 8th place for the Premier League last season, failing to qualify for European competition for the first time in a quarter of a century. Miklos Tessa is expected to revamp his squad ahead of the upcoming campaign and the Gunners have been linked with moves for the likes of Brighton centre-back Ben White and 21-year-old Anderlecht midfielder Albert Sambila Conga. And according to the Telegraph, attack is another area Arsenal wants to improve should they be able to offload players. The report states that the clubs are admirers of Calvert-Lewin and they are monitoring the 24-year-old. The striker turned heads for the Toffees last season with 21 goals in 39 games across all competitions. Calvert-Lewin's excellent form also earned him a place in England's Euro 2020 squad, 
although he has been limited to one brief substitute appearance so far in the tournament. In terms of potential outgoings, at the Emirates, multiple first-team players such as Granit Xhaka, Hector Bellerin and Willian have all been linked with exits, with Alexandre Lacazette one also to join the crew of Xhaka, Bellerin and Willian as a potential exit of the club, and this will enable a player like Calvert-Lewin who has been heavily interested by Miklos Sekta and Eddie on a possible move for the Gunners looks like a very good option for Arsenal as they look to bolster their attack and it looks like Arsenal are monitoring Everton striker Dominic Calvert-Lewin. He's someone that has impressed heavily for Everton. He's played under one of the best coaches in the world in the form of Carl Ancelotti and he was someone that excelled under Carl Ancelotti as many people knew that run he was on where he was scoring goals left, right and centre. He's a very physical striker. He's someone that could get onto those Kieran Taney crosses as that's something we had lacked heavily in this um, campaign where we finished eighth because we didn't have good strikers that were finishing the ball at the back of the net. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang had a lot of problems. Alexandre Lacazette did have a decent season but not to the season where we bought him from Lyon. So when it comes to Dominic Calvert-Lewin, he's someone that has scored 16 Premier, Premier League goals last term. But would he be able to make the move to the Gunners? Are the Gunners able to pay what Everton are going to be asking for Calvert-Lewin? It looks like Calvert-Lewin is someone that would probably make the move from Everton to Arsenal. As, by the way, Everton at the moment are always going to be in Liverpool's shadow. But whereas Arsenal still have the opportunity to still be one of the teams fighting for a top four finish next season as Everton are in a transition phase themselves because they just had one of the best managers in the form of Carl Ancelotti and they need to get a suitable replacement. It could be in the form of Frank Lampard. It could be in the form of many managers that they have been linked with. It could be Nuno Espirito Santo. So there's a lot of things that there is going on in Everton as well because they're building a new stadium and one of our owners, Usmanov, is over there making things happen for Everton, trying to turn them into a big club. But Dominic Calvert-Lewin doesn't probably want to go into this transition phase and may make the move for the Gunners and really impress and really battle Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang for that number one striker position. Or even Mick Clossetta has the opportunity to play Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang on the left-hand side of an attack and go with Dominic Calvert-Lewin out front. But one thing I know, if you get a player like Dominic Calvert-Lewin, his ability to head the ball, he's someone that is a pouncer, he's someone that is a poacher, he's someone that can get goals left, right and centre. And if you look at Kieran Tierney's crosses and even Callum Chambers, when he was doing that in the latter end of the season, those crosses will be met by Calvert Lewin into the back of the net, and that's one thing I can guarantee for certain. So we will have to wait and see how Arsenal will use the summer transfer window in the end. Make sure you check out the FA Cup poster using the special link I've put below in the description, and smash that like button to see if you can reach 20 likes. Also, subscribe for more daily Arsenal news videos and click one of the latest videos on the screen, and I'll see you there.